But uh, it was a big ask for him, and he's not up to it. Can, can, can I say on on Trent's behalf as well, though, if you are going to bring Trent in, and we've seen his capabilities at Liverpool, what he can do when he gets on the ball in those areas. Now, if you're going to if you're going to play him the way we've seen him play for Liverpool, he's going to need movement up front. There's no movement for him. There's nothing happening for him. Whether he's going to be able to turn there and do what he does, of course he's not going to do what he's done at right back, and he's going into the midfield. Like I hear what Roy's saying about it's a different kind of like, it's a different kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Discipline for him, right? The fact that he's got no movement. And then what's happening is he's getting caught on it because then he's taking too long well, to make a decision. Why has he got no movement? Because That's what you thrive off of a striker. You've well, got to make the movement to well, you're not, the you, target, there, haven't there was, you? I don't think there was enough movement from... from from Phil Foden, who was, who, was, who was coming inside. It was Harry Kane's coming deep. We're getting too many people. They're coming deep where we need him to stretch the play. We, Saka's the only one who's going that way. But, but we all uh, talk uh, about football, but again, what you do in possession. But it's really important against the better teams, what you do out of possession. And that's why he's been thrown in at the deep end. He, OK, he's going to be comfortable on the ball. And if you give him time, he can see a pass. Of course, there's no doubt in that. But it's the other bits of his game. The distance, Rice, even for Rice... Rice feels like he's almost babysitting him in there. And you can't do that at this level. You will be found out, and he has been. Uh, look, I, 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 for 20 years, 25 years, wondered why England, as a football country, can't keep possession high up the pitch in the attacking half of the pitch when we're 1-0 up. We've never been able to do it, and we can't do it now. We've got the most technical players that we've ever had. And, and it's just the nub of really what's going wrong. I, I, think think? This, I think this is our biggest problem, is actually in possession. The ability to be able to control the game, keep the ball... I understand that it is now a possession game, but actually, if we're in possession and we're doing well and we're high up the pitch, we're usually in a good position to be able to defend from that position. We're all up the pitch. The best teams do it. And I honestly think that the ideas of playing out from the back and the solutions that basically teams have nowadays to play out from the back, we don't have them at international level and haven't had them for 25 years. Now, I don't think that's helped by Trent being in there, probably, but I also want to mention a player that we all love at 100%. Mikel Arteta moved Declan Rice out of that position for the last 15 games of the season to bring Jorginho in and part in because he's not that good at playing there. And today, it's the most nervous I've seen Declan Rice. And he's a brilliant player. And so for so me... So you're saying he's better further up the pitch I, I think well. he's better actually moving up the pitch. To have someone but there... But everybody wants to be know, in that if, position if, moving if, up no, the pitch. But if you think about they? what Kroos and Rodri and... Uh, Vettina does for Portugal, these players who get the team playing. At Manchester United, it was him and Paul Scholes, it's Jorginho for Arsenal. Every player that's really great has this type of player. Nowadays, we don't seem to be able to have that player. Look, Maynou's probably the one, Wharton, that can do it. We have to resolve that problem. And I'm not just talking about Gareth in this next four days. I'm just talking England generally. We've never been able to get out from the back properly in moments of pressure. Now, can I say with the, with the Declan Rice and the way he plays for Arsenal in the way that we've got progressive um, centre halves, we've got inverted fullbacks. De Declan then has to move forward because there's no space for him to move. So that's why, as well. I want to say, you, are you saying that he? he that Mikel doesn't think he's good enough to no, play there? Right, because right. That, that's why he's pushed up the field for me. I think when he goes to receive the ball deep with his back to play, I think he's quite basic at that. I don't think he's as good as the other players who play that position. Where I think he's brilliant is where he's marauding forward, he's running onto the game, he's up on top of the game, he's, he's, he's being aggressive. And if you look at his touch map for Arsenal in the last part of the season, most of his touches are in that high left channel. And I get that he's got Jorginho. He might have Zinchenko coming in or others to play in midfield. Right. Party. But we, for some reason, haven't got that balance in midfield. And I do believe it's a massive problem for him. We don't have the solution. Yeah, but you do have to ideas. adapt your game sometimes. I think the problem for England, they have a lot of, a lot of brilliant attacker players. And you almost don't need Rice. I know what you're saying. That is one of the that's strengths. You don't need Rice further up the pitch. We've got Bellingham and Foden. Yeah, but that's what you have to adapt as a player. Your, your role at a, a club level can change at international level. Because obviously, as a team, you've got to adapt your style of play. And Rice... Some of his play today was has to improve again, getting on the half turn, getting off the back four. But yeah, one of his strengths is going forward. But you can't have five, six players getting forward because you will be cut off. There, there was a moment in the first half after 40 minutes for about two minutes where Phil Foden went and got the ball off the back four and got us playing because he could see that we needed somebody in there to get the ball on the half turn and get us moving. That's the only time I remember in the whole game where we looked like we were half comfortable. Let's hear from Gareth Southgate and then we'll react to what he has to say. Here he is with Gabriel Clark. 